Hey, this is River Dave from RiverDavesPlace.com. We're down here at the Parker Enduro 300 2012. Standing next to me is Gordon Jennings, world famous engine builder and boat racer. Gordon, who are you out here with today? Uh, out here with uh, Team Nordic, uh, Randy Davis and Billy Dunsmore driving all three of us. And, uh, you know, it's a brand new boat for Randy. Uh, we would, couldn't run the old boat uh, too fast, I guess. So he built a stock production boat with a 700 horse Merkin and uh, we're out here having some fun. Now, obviously you drive K boats and flat bottoms. I heard uh, you driving this Nordic little flighty and uh, it got your undivided attention. Yeah, the V-bottom thing where they go back and forth, this doesn't seem right for a flat bottom guy because if you do that in a flat bottom, it's, it's not good. But uh, you get used to it after a while. It's out there for an hour or so. It's a lot of fun. Have you ever driven one of the 1350 Nordics? Yeah, I drove it uh, last year. Yeah. Now, uh, you guys lost oil pressure earlier, but it turns out it was just a little bit low on oil. And they filled it up with oil, they got it back in the water. How are you guys doing in the race so far? Uh, we're way behind. Uh, they still kept us in Division 7, and the boat only go like 90 miles an hour. You know, it's a production boat, so, you know, hopefully they'll move us up next year where we belong. And, uh, you know, you got some of these guys. They're not... You got Teague that's got 1,200, 1,300 horsepower. You got Armenian turbocharged, got 1,200 horsepower. You know, we got 700 horsepower, and they start us five minutes behind them. It doesn't make much sense. Actually, Teague has 1,400 horsepower, and the uh, Armenian Navy's running a little over 1,200. You're right on that. And that's, uh, it is a little unfortunate. You're five minutes behind. I talked to Ross. Ross says, uh, Ross says that he's going to evaluate uh, the rule changes this year, and he's going to re-handicap for next year. Yeah. So. Yeah, he does that every year. He changes it to see what guys run because the GNs were always way in front of everybody and they went really fast last year and the guy won and so they put him back 10 minutes farther behind. But they even ran harder this year. They're running harder this year. So, you know, they're both the cable can go 105 miles an hour, you know, and it, it's a shame that just because they're V drives, they don't think they'll last so they can run slower, but they can run 105 miles an hour. So it doesn't seem right to me that just because Randy brings out a really nice piece of machinery that maybe can go you know, 95 or 100 the whole time. It just seems like I need to look at the rules a little different. Oh, I've always thought that it should be a run what you brung and no handicaps. It's an endurance race, not a not a handicap race. Yeah, exactly. They, they should make it like the old enduro. Start everybody at once, you know, and you, that's why you have different divisions. If you want to be the big dog, then build a big dog boat. You know, if you don't, then build a good boat for your division and go win your division. Interesting suggestions. We'll see what Ross does about it, but uh, I'm going to guess he's going to stick with the format. The format he's brought back the enduro from the ages of old and it's as you can see up and down the beach here it is packed with people we're having a blast out here thanks so much for your time gordy thank you dave and we'll uh we'll see you down at faf soon go river dave <laughs> what's that go river dave there you go <laughs>